Well, missionaries, in order to perhaps better illustrate how to do commitments, how to make them effective, let's do some role plays. And I think in order to do this, I'd like to use some of you. And so, Sister Aarons, why don't you come, come up, or in a moment we'll have you come up, you and Elder Miller, you could be our married couple. Would that be all right? Yeah. Three or four children. Um, we'll call you probably Brother and Sister Brown. And Elder Isom, why don't you come up and be my missionary companion, if you would. And let's, we're going to illustrate in this first role play, missionaries, how we invite someone to kneel and pray at the end of the first discussion, the head of the house, to kneel and pray at the end of the first discussion. And we'll start this role play with my companion and I in the street. We're just about arriving at the home of uh, the Browns, and you see this interchange going on between the two of us. Well, Elder Rice, are we ready to go? We are. Let's do it. There's their house. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of what I think. Yeah. But I'm thankful that we've been prayerful about it this morning, and I, I take confidence from the fact in our planning session that we kind of worked over what we're going to do, and you'll teach part of the lesson, and I'll teach part, and then as we get down to the very end, Elder, just as a, as a reminder, maybe when you can tell that I'm just a minute or two away from inviting them to kneel and pray, will you do your very best to pour your heart out to the Lord in prayer? I will. And I'll do that too, but it'll be a little harder because I'll be speaking to them, but pray that I might be inspired to be able to do it with the Spirit so that they'll respond favorably, and especially pray that Brother Brown and Sister Brown's hearts will be softened so they'll kneel and that he will pray, all right? Okay. I'm confident if we'll do that, that we will be going, not just the two of us, but there will be a third person with us, Heavenly Father, and that will bring success, won't it? Definitely will. So, missionaries, let's assume then that we're in the home now, and let's have Brother and Sister Brown come up for a moment. And um, <clears throat> one principle that's very important to remember in, in all of your teaching is to teach line upon line, precept upon precept. Here a little, there a little, the scriptures say. I'm quoting a scripture, right? and that you give them milk before meat, so you kind of ease into something. And one good way to do that on all of the commitments is to have pre-taught the idea two or three times before you get right to the commitment. So for example, without saying to them, we're gonna ask him to kneel and pray, we don't wanna say that yet, but we would do something like this. Maybe we've just finished telling the Joseph Smith story and we say, well, brother and sister Brown, we bear testimony to you again of the importance of prayer. Joseph Smith knelt on his knees and prayed to the Lord, and the Lord answered him. Yes. And as we conclude the lesson later this evening, we'd like to do that as well. But we just want to emphasize the importance of praying. And maybe another time, elders, I'm finishing talking about the Book of Mormon. I might insert something like, and again, this is preparatory, isn't it, for that commitment. Well, brother and sister Brown, we bear testimony again, don't we, companion? That yeah. This, that the Book of Mormon is the Word of God. And we bear testimony of the importance, as we have said, of praying over it. As you, will, as you pray to the Lord for confirmation the book is true, mm -hmm. we'll kneel down and, and kneel down in your bedroom or where you might be alone and really pour out your heart to the Lord. You will see he, that, that He will answer your prayers and confirm to you the book is true. So you might do that a couple of times in preparation now for the big moment, isn't it? where it's extremely important that he kneel and pray. And so you might do something like this now. We're right at that key moment. Well, pr Brother and Sister Brown, <clears throat> as we conclude then this evening, we just bear testimony to you again of the importance of what we've taught to you. We feel very honored to be in your home. We we felt love here between the two of you and your love of the Lord. And love for us as well, allowing us to be here and teach. Thank and, you for well, we're delighted to do that. And as we finish this evening and conclude then, we'd like to have a kneeling prayer as we conclude the meeting. <clears throat> now, missionaries, just a quick question, if we might stop the role play. Why is it that he knelt down? You set the example for him. You, you got on your knees yourself, and they followed suit. Thank you, Elder. Exactly. Now, he still thinks that I'm going to pray, doesn't he? <laughs> Am I going to pray? No. <laughs> Brother Brown's going to pray. Well, as we <clears throat> go forward, then, Brother Brown, we'd invite you to offer this um, final prayer. And again, many, mission, many investigators, missionaries would pray right now. Suppose that he resisted me a little and maybe did this. 
Well, I, I would feel more comfortable if my wife prayed. Well, you know, that's a good idea, Brother Brown. I'm sure she'd do a good job. But uh, let's have her do that next time. I think the Lord would have you pray this time, Brother Brown. And again, most investigators would now pray, what if he were to resist one more time, just to illustrate what you could do, and we've assumed that he's going to pray. Well, I was never taught to pray like you pray, so I would be more comfortable if my wife did it. Well, she'd probably be more comfortable if you did it. Is that right, Sister Brown? <laughs> How bad? That's right. <laughs> Brother Brown, as you'll recall, we talked earlier about these four steps of prayer. Yes. And as you'll see, they're written there, Our Father in Heaven, and we thank Thee, is what we say next. What would be a couple of things that you'd be thankful for? And we won't take time now, missionaries, to have him say that, but he would name a couple. And then what are a couple of things that you would want to ask Heavenly Father for? And he might be praying about the health of his wife or one of his children. And I would do well as a missionary to suggest. And you may want to also, Brother Brown, pray to confirm to the Lord that Joseph Smith was a prophet and that the Book of Mormon was true. That would be really good to do, wouldn't it? Yes. And then you, you finish in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. For this first time, there's no problem. You use that and it'll be of much help to you. Thank you. Missionaries, is he going to pray? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, he is. Did you feel somewhat pressured or manipulated in any way? No. 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 Why not? It was done in a spirit of love. That's, was, that's the key, isn't it? It was gentle. It was gentle, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. You'll know, you want to be careful to never manipulate in any way, missionaries. You'll know you are doing that if they are offended or feel pressured. The Spirit's not in it. The Spirit wouldn't offend anyone. But if it's done, brother and sister Brown, in total love, and as I see you two here as my investigators, I consider it to be just that, that you are real investigators. And somehow you feel like you want to just throw your arms around in love. And if they'll feel that love in the Spirit, they'll do anything you ask them to do that's honorable, won't they, companion? Yeah, they will. They will. And that's the key, isn't it, to have the Spirit with you in that moment. Well done, both of you. Thank you. Go ahead and have a seat, the three of you. And let's now turn our attention for a moment to you missionaries. What did you observe in what was just done? What was it that caused this to happen so that he really did kneel? Elder? I liked how in that first time when you asked him to pray again after he felt uncomfortable, that it's not you told him that you wanted him to pray, but that the Lord would like you to pray. People come into this church on their knees. And if you're afraid to get them to kneel down in that first discussion, missionaries, you are postponing the time when they will commit to be baptized. Excellent observation. The Lord was in it. That's why they did it. Excellent. What else? Elder, please. I liked how before you guys came into the house and you were sitting in the street that you made sure that your companion was going to be praying for you while you were inviting them to pray. That's so important to have the Spirit there. Isn't that important? You're right, Elder. There was a plan. We did it in our planning meeting, didn't we? We talked about Brother and Sister Brown. We prayed over them. We were a little concerned, weren't we, Elder Isom, that will this couple kneel? We'd kind of work that out of how to do that with the Spirit so that they would really feel the Spirit and then ask them to kneel. That's an important thing to write down, missionaries, that you want them to feel something before you, do, before you have them make the commitment. If they're not feeling it, there's a chance they won't commit. But if they are feeling it, my experience has been they'll do anything you ask them to do that's honorable if they are feeling it. It'd been easy to give in and say, well, yes, let's have Sister Brown do it. And she probably would have, wouldn't she? But what will happen next time when you ask him to pray? He'll do the same thing. And will it be easier the next time or harder? Harder. Harder. You remember that, missionaries. It gets harder. And so you want to make sure that the head of the house prays that very first time. And it may be that one of the most important things that occurred in all of this role play missionaries was something that was unseen, and it was my companion's prayers. Do not think, dear missionaries, if a humble missionary is praying to the Lord a minute or two before the commitment moment, whether it be to set a baptismal date or any of the others or this one, that the Lord would not help soften the heart of Brother and Sister Brown if we're really praying the Lord would do it? Of course He would. And I think along the line of what you said, Elder, Elder with faith, I'd like to refer to these two or three things on the board that 
seem to me in a way to be a summary of what I've seen occurring as I've watched so many investigators kneel and pray and later become baptized. It seems like these three things are happening all at once. And I've entitled this Basic Principles of Exercising Faith. First of all, there are thoughts and feelings of faith. That's you. That's you praying. That's you feeling full of faith, praying for faith, praying for them, isn't it? It's the invitation of the Spirit to be involved in what it is we're doing. The second is to have words and language of faith. What, did you hear me say to them, well, Brother Brown, would it be okay perhaps then if you offered the final prayer? Did I say that? No. no, that's full of doubt, isn't it? You'd never want to say that. The more effective would be able to say, well, Brother Brown, as we conclude this evening then, we'd like to have you offer that final prayer. And then number three, acts of faith, and act by bowing your head, by kneeling, isn't it? I've watched sometimes missionaries who will, before they're going to kneel, and of course we're role-playing this standing up, you would normally be seated, but we're doing that so all of you can see. I've seen some missionaries who will ask the question, any commitment, and say, like this one, well, Brother Brown, then, would you be willing to offer the final prayer? And what are they doing? They're waiting to see if he's going to or not, aren't they? And they are conveying doubt in that very moment. Because in their heart they're saying, will he or will he not kneel? That's not faith. Faith is to believe that he will and then to do that third one, isn't it? To kneel. And to believe it, if you believe it, then act like you do. Very good. So missionaries, in summary, let's just review a few of the basic principles that we've seen here illustrated this morning. It's remember, and make a note of these if you will, remember that it's essential that he prays, the head of the household, be sure and act in faith, believe beforehand that he's going to pray, expect him to pray, and if you'll do that with the Spirit, guess what? He will. Be praying in your heart, you and your companion, to soften his heart. I've watched that throughout my life, and I bear testimony that's true. That if you are really praying in your companion, that they accept the commitments. It takes it away from it being two young men and a couple, and all of a sudden the Lord's in it, and then something will always happen. And also I'd suggest to be very careful of not being involved in any way of manipulating. And you would know you were doing that if they were offended or felt pressured somehow. And if you'll do it with love and with the Spirit, they will not feel that at all and will follow your lead as a servant of the Lord. Then remember when he finishes praying to be sure to commend him for a job well done. However well he prayed, that was his best that he could do at the time. So be sure that you commend him. And then take a moment to teach about individual prayer that they'll want to pray in the morning and the evening now and kneel down and maybe praying with his wife and his family so that he'll know more about prayer. That'll be very appropriate. May I just say in conclusion to you, that if we will set aside our doubt and fear and bear solemn testimony of the Lord Jesus Christ, of the Prophet Joseph Smith and the Book of Mormon, and do it with the Spirit, these folks will kneel and pray, and they will obtain a testimony and finally be converted and be baptized. Remember that his kneeling prayer will prepare the way for his heart being touched to receive all the commitments. This first commitment of praying is essential for that reason. I bear testimony that that is true and that if we will truly be prayerful to the Lord, you and your companion, invite the Lord into the situation, you'll see the Spirit of the Lord come, and this man and his wife will commit. I bear testimony of the, of the power of prayer, that it brings conversion. And say this humbly, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. amen.